Hello everyone, in today's video I'm just going to make a short announcement on why I was not making YouTube videos. So I was currently working on my personal project for saving snippets. So this is the project, you can create and save snippets or you can see uh, a feed of snippets. Uh, you can search for snippets that you're looking for. For example, if I search, let's say, uh, anything that has to do with Java. So I, I can see there's some data that uh, relates to Java. I can, you know, get rid of the search and then it's going to refetch uh, the existing data on the main page. I can load more snippets. Okay. I can also copy uh, the snippets. I can just uh, click this copy button here. I can go to the next page and then I can paste the code I've copied. Uh, let me open W3 schools. Uh, I'm going to go HTML. So if I go to edit, I can, you know, paste whatever code I've copied. Okay. So I can try to copy something else. So here I'll go to, I'll copy this one, copy, and then go back to the editor. I can, you know, paste the code. Okay. So everything works. So I can also click on the profile of the user who created the snippets. Okay. And then you can also see, uh, whatever snippets that user have created. Okay. Uh, if I go to the homepage, I, we can also, um, change the theme of the snippets if you want to. Okay. So we can also, uh, you know, resize the snippet. You can make it full screen if you want. Okay. If you double click, you can open the whole snippet and then you can, uh, you know, share this link. I'm still working on the design of the single snippet page. So everything you see here is work in progress. So when I put it to the new page, yeah, you're going to be able to share the snippet. It's going to open the exact snippet. So I'm still working on the, you know, a single page. If I go to the user, you can see whatever snippet they've created. So this is the uh, private, I mean, public profile of the user. You can see the uh, LinkedIn, uh, GitHub uh, or email links. So if you want to contact the user, uh, you can contact through these links. So when I go back to home, uh, you can search whatever you're looking for. But uh, also, uh, at the moment, I'm working on the bookmark feature and the likes feature. So th they're not working at the moment. I'm still working on the features at the moment. Okay. So uh, now let's log in as a user. So actually, if you click my snippets, it will redirect you to the login page. Or if you don't have an account, you can sign up. If you click register, if there's no information, it's going to generate a random emoji depending on whatever data you've entered. Okay, so if we have uh, a login account, you can log in here. There's validations as well. You can the data is being validated, or we can uh, just go back to the home page. Um, if you just want to copy the snippets, you can do so, but you cannot create a snippet unless if you have uh, an account. So let's log in. I'm going to log in as an admin. So there's a no more user and an admin user. So in this case, I'm going to log in as an admin uh, snippet master admin i think that's the email gmail.com i'm just gonna put in a password okay so now i'm logged in as a user so now i'm going to be able to click this link my snippets i'm going to be able to go there so now i can see the snippets that i've created okay uh this bookmarks page is still under construction uh i just need to do the front end for this one and then the creators i haven't done this yet uh, the popular, I haven't done this yet, but anyways, everything is coming, uh, coming in place quickly. So when I go to one page, I can still see other users. So as you can see, when I logged in, I can see the delete functionality and edit. So I can click delete. It's going to delete everything on the fly. So when I click, okay, it's going to delete. So as you can see, it's gone. The file is gone. So the ones that I've not created, I'm, I'm not going to be able to delete the snippets that I've not created. I can only see the delete button on the ones that I've created. Okay. So you will never be able to delete something that is not yours. So now, uh, if I uh, go uh, to the settings, I'm going to be able to change uh, the name. Uh, let's say McLean's universal tech. I can change this to tech. Okay. So, uh, when I save, it's going to change. So for example, when I go to the homepage, uh, McLean's universal, where am I here? Yeah, it says McLean's universal tech. I've changed the, the name. I can change anything. I can change the email. I can change almost everything, the bio. I can change the password. 
I can change the links. Everything you see here is changeable. So at the moment, I'm also working on the feature to add a photo. So when you click this button, you can upload a photo, but I just need to work in the feature of uh, displaying the photo on the front end. So when you go to help, yeah, we, you can see there's some, uh, you know, we can review uh, some Q uh, and A, whatever. We can, you know, switch between these tabs. So I'm still working on the information. Uh, let's go to the uh, admin panel. So when I click this link here, we can go to admin panel. So when I go to admin, you can see now we have some tags. So we can create and remove tags from here. And we can also see all snippets that are posted by every user. So we can delete any snippet here from any user who posts any snippet. We're going to have the power to delete everything because we're admin. So we can delete everything from here. So let's say I want to add new tags. I can say, let's say uh, CSS3 and just click enter. So now we have CSS3. So we can delete this tag, double click the tag, and then it's going to be deleted. Okay. So yeah, we can create tags, delete tags, you know. So now let's go to create a snippet. So how do we do that? So let me copy this uh, snippet here, copied. Okay, so I'm going to create a snippet. Create, I'm just going to paste uh, the, the code. And then here, let's say if I click, uh, click create snippet, as you can see, there's validations. So I need a title. So I'm just going to, you know, say binary search. Uh, binary. I'm going to say search. Search two. Okay. So this is a binary search to snippet. So here, when I click, it says I need to select at least one tag, okay? So when I click, so there's a maximum of seven tags. When I click uh, each of these tags, they're no longer clickable, okay? So the maximum is seven. I can unclick this, I can click another tag, okay? So only seven tags, that's the maximum. We cannot click anything else. So when I click uh, create snippet, as you can see, the snippet is here, binary search to, we can still change the themes okay we can resize whatever we can copy this code as you can see the tags are showing here whatever tags so uh i need to also work on a functionality if you click this tag it's going to return everything that's related to the tag that i've clicked on okay so when you go to my snippets you can see the snippets uh the snippet is here but on switch to when you go to home page there it is we can delete it whatever we can go to my snippets we can uh, delete everything, okay? So uh, let's scroll down. So yeah, that's the main functionality for the admin, okay? So let me try to, I'm also working on the uh, light theme and dark theme, okay? So, but for the light theme, I haven't worked on the colors yet. I'm still looking for the colors that's going to match the light theme. Uh, also for the sidebar, we can collapse this. Let me sign out. So now when I sign out, uh, it's, I'm not going to be able to access those pages anymore. So I have to, you know, when I click my uh, snippets or bookmarks, top creators, it's not going to let me. Okay. So now let's try creating a new account. So let's uh, try create a new regular user. Let's just say test user 33 and then test user 33 at gmail.com i'm just going to copy this and then i'm going to say password one two three four that's the password for example let's try some validations for the password when i register as you can see there's a validation for password okay every there's a validation for everything so now uh let's do a new password so now we can register all right so we can let's say never and then now we've registered for some reason it should redirect us oh to the login page actually we're on the login already so now we just need to log in so now let's say password one two three four so oops password one two three four so now as you can see we're on the main page if i go to my snippets there's nothing it says filters goes here because i'm going to do some uh, filtering system to filter the snippets Okay, so nothing here, nothing in the bookmarks, and nothing everywhere. So you can see whatever snippets that have been there already. Okay, so we can copy. So the bookmark functionality, I'm just working to, uh, when you click this, it's going to turn green, like this green. So if it's bookmarked, so if it's green, it's going to be like active. 
we can still view the users. We can still still see whatever snippet they created. We can create our own snippet. So when I go to the settings, actually, let's see. So by default, it's going to generate a random username. So as you can see, this is a default username. It's a random. So what we can do is we can add a new name. Let's say testing name. Okay, testing name. So here you can change also the name or you can put some links as well for social information. Uh, let's save changes and then we can also create a snippet on top of this if you want. So this uh, create snippet, it's accessible anywhere you want. Or you can go to my snippets here. Uh, you are going to see everything update live. So when I click create snippet, I'm going to paste some code. Uh, test user as user snippet. Uh, select a tag. I'm just gonna, you know, select any tags. Create. As you can see, there is a new snippet. Okay. For some reason, the delete button is not showing. I don't know why. Let me try to refresh. I don't know why it's not showing. I think there's a bug. I'll fix the bug uh, on the next version because I'm still. This is a still uh, work in progress anyway. So everything you see here is work in progress. Okay. So yeah. Um. That's the main functionality of the app, just creating and saving snippets and sharing snippets. So when I'm making videos in the future, I'm going to be able to uh, post everything here and then you're going to copy the code, the source code from here. I want to be able to do that in the future. So that's the main functionality of the app at the moment. It's still in early stage. I'm still working on it. So yeah, you can, you know, give me feedback. If you want to give some feedback, I'm going to post this link um, in the YouTube comment, syst uh, comment system comment section i mean so yeah if you want to give feedback uh, let me know you can send me an email and give me feedback about you know what you might want to see in the app okay that's it i'll see you on the next one